Good day, all you ADU enthusiasts. Derek here, that ADU guy on a ADU walkthrough. This is a 400 square foot affordable accessory dwelling unit. And I'm gonna take everybody uh, wall to wall and up in the loft and just kind of talk about some affordable design principles systematically as we go through the, the house. So this here is a one wall galley kitchen. And what's important about a one wall kitchen is we have no seams in our countertops. This is a prefabricated granite countertop. I, I paid $200 uh, for nine feet, which was able to do the whole thing. So without any turns in the cabinets or any corner seams, we're gonna A, save on granite, and B, we're gonna save on cabinets. These are apartment-sized appliances, so a 24-inch range as opposed to a 30-inch range, and it's a 10 cubic foot refrigerator as um, opposed to maybe a 20 plus cubic foot fridge you'd see in a, in a large house. This is a seven, uh, excuse me, this is a 13 foot one wall kitchen. So you don't need a lot of space, but you do have to plan uh, for smaller appliances if you're gonna try to shove everything on a small wall like this. In our area, it is code that a electric or gas range be vented to the outside. So I go with a microwave hood vent combo. They're $200. So this whole kitchen here, finished um, all in, is about $3,200. That's cabinet, appliances, um, granite countertops, fixtures. Next to the uh, one wall kitchen, we have a small bathroom. This is about the smallest bathroom you can make that's comfortable. It's five feet wide, so it fits a prefabricated fiberglass shower. Uh, those run about $500. And then to code, we need 30 inch space between the vanity and the tub and then we have a 24 inch vanity here again same custom cabinets this is affordable prefabricated granite and um, a nice white clean medicine cabinet light fixtures in here these are all off of amazon uh, they look very similar to 200 dollars a piece designer fixtures but uh, they run about 20 dollars each so we can get a really rich look at an affordable price uh, over here we have the loft ladder. Upstairs in this ADU is a storage loft, so it doesn't legally count as livable square footage, but it's great for storage. One uh, design principle here that's important to note is uh, the double pocket door. This is a, a trick that I like to use because when we walk into an accessory dwelling unit, especially a small one under 400 square feet, volume is really important. So we can get the feel of a studio with this big double door here and then it can also be closed for privacy um, so if you have guests over you don't feel like your friends are sitting down in your bedroom and i'll close these and kind of give you an idea so that's kind of the bedroom a good divider again this is a small adu so we went with a, about as small of a bedroom as you want to this is 10 by 11 and a half finished space so it will fit a queen size bed, but it's tight. So um, when you're planning your accessory dwelling unit, you wanna think what furniture is gonna fit. A quick layout on some paper will help you with that. This is a Daikin 12,000 BTU mini split, and it definitely works well for hot and cold in this ADU. It's been placed on the back wall where it, it will um, give great HVAC principles to the bedroom, and then it will also uh, shoot straight out and fill the rest of uh, the volume of this space. This is a six foot closet door, uh, bypass doors. And then inside here we have uh, a small closet space and a stacked washer and dryer unit. So in unit washer and dryer is really cool. Uh, the flooring here, this is a five inch white oak and this is a hardwood nail down product. And it's worth mentioning here that this product is, uh, I install it raw, I don't fill the seams, um, I don't sand it, I simply install it with the, the rustic gaps and then buff it. And anybody can do this, you don't need a $5,000 floor sander, you install it and um, just buff it and I put three coats of, of water on this floor. So you can see some of these gaps in the floor and some people don't like that look, but the wide plank flooring look was actually trying to meet the look of 100 years ago when every seam wasn't perfectly tight. 
The loft here, this is a Douglas fir ladder that I built and it slides out on this pipe up there so it won't slip out and then it also is able to stow against the wall. I've just got it cut on the angle of the floor and uh, I put some felt pads on it. Try not to make anybody seasick as we go up the ladder here. And this is a 200 square foot uh, storage loft. Again, uh, the vault ceiling is a really important principle of an ADU. If you've been watching my video series, you've seen the, the purpose uh, function of insulating and framing and constructing the vault ceiling. A couple of windows here on the sun side. We've got good volume. Uh, the light switch is up here. Wow, I put a dimmer on these. Although it's not living space, there's still a hardwired um, smoke detector and O2 detector up here. So that's about it for the walkthrough of this 396 square feet ADU. If you have any questions, comment below. Feel free to like and subscribe, but more than that, take the information you're learning here to take action and build an ADU. Thanks, folks.